the voice of the I Cubs. Here's the 2 2. Swing and a pop up, slicing down the right field line, giving Chase Alexander Canario by the bullpen will make the catch. Runner will tag up. Here's the throw home. It's a good one. It is in time. We got him. Alex Cohen. Alexander Canario with the hose. Oh, baby. His journey to AAA has been similar to that of a minor league baseball player. After graduating from Indiana, he interned for the AAA Lehigh Valley Iron Pigs, then worked in indie ball. After that, he was the voice of the AA Huntsville Stars. But then he took a break from play-by-play -play and was a broadcast media assistant in Oakland, but then missed the mic, so he got back in the booth in the Australian Baseball League. Then he came back to America as the voice of the Idaho Falls Chuckers. Then he spent two years with the Bowling Green Hot Rods before finally getting an offer in Des Moines in 2017. It's a similar type of process where we're trying to get better each and every day to get that, uh, that one phone call uh, to say, hey, you're, you're going up to Chicago or you're going to one of the 29 other big league teams. Like any baseball player, he's improved across the board as he's moved up, but there's one area of improvement that sticks out from the rest. Great jerseys. See, Lou Brock, half Cubs, half Cardinal jerseys. That's pretty cool. You know, everyone wants to be the next Vince Scully, John Miller, Pat Hughes, but there's only one of those, and, and recognizing that and finding parts of their broadcasts that are really good and combining it into what I do best and cultivating my own style and own strengths. The life of a baseball broadcaster is a grind. Six games a week, hours of prep for each, that's not all of Cohen's responsibilities. That I also sell advertising for the team, that I also handle team travel for the team. So uh, when we're flying out at 445 in the morning uh, from Memphis, taking two flights, um, and then coming here, I mean, that's stuff that, that I have to handle. His daily habits to stay in a routine include spending time with his wife, drinking one pop for the caffeine, completing the immaculate grid, and building relationships at the ballpark. My main goal every day was to come to the ballpark and have one unique conversation with a player, a coach, a staff member, just something different to break out the monotony of the season because we have 150 of these games. So that one conversation, whether it's a 10-10 a game or a 12-2 you know, game, uh, can really make the difference. One. Slice, left center field, ranging into the gap, Perlaza, hand first time, he makes the catch. Cohen isn't the only person with the MLB dream. There are just 30 teams each with a play-by-play -play personality for TV and radio. Just 60 jobs with low turnover, something Cohen is aware of. Recognizing where we stand in the pecking order of that and just enjoying the baseball game. Um, when I don't enjoy the baseball game anymore and calling a game, whether it's high school or at this level, will be the day that I put away the mic and go do something else. Luckily for Cohen and iCubs fans, that day isn't coming anytime soon. Jake Brent. Coming here on a weekend night in the summer, um, some of the best experiences in the games that I've had in my entire life, and you know, I'm very fortunate to be here. Local 5 Sports.